I live in the real world. I mean, everybody has to work, right? Well, my job happens to be CS, customer service. You know, solutions, relationships, and generating motivation to keep my team pumped up at night, connected to every single guest who takes the time to step into our store. This is CTCS, episode number 56, Open Microphone Experience. Transition walk, the first step of a new working schedule in customer service. You know, I need this transition walk today. It it really is. It's the transitioning of energy from who I am inside the recording studio to going out and being in customer service. This morning, all within a two-hour period, I was with Mo Rocca from CBS. Uh, I spent time with the bass guitars of uh, Mr. Bolin from uh, Skid Row and uh, wrapped up my interviews this morning with actor Scott Atkins, who's in a brand new movie. And uh, now, go stand at customer service go to a grocery store for nine hours you find yourself questioning yourself it's like what am I doing and then you remind yourself that you're there to be with real people real laughs real smiles real stories well this isn't how I wanted the day to start you walk into the store and uh, someone is um, wanting a refund from Rhea Rhea is like Western Union and this isn't just a normal uh, refund this is two thousand dollars worth of, of of refund and so we got to get every manager involved in this and we've got to get Rhea on the phone too to find out what went wrong because it's not going to cost two thousand bucks out of our pocket so it's been a rough week it's been a very rough week I, I got attacked for cookies being fry strong um, I, I the gentleman came up front. I explained to him that the 12 count were the ones that were on sale. Right. And uh, he jerked the cookies out of my hands. And I said, well, did you want a refund or you know, do you want to keep them? And he goes, keep them. Well, of course I want a refund. So I issued him a refund. He walked back in the store two hours later. Wow. Well, about the same cookies? No. <laughs> I was a stand up front bagging and he walked behind me and he goes, oh, I wouldn't let them know about that sign because I know you don't care. And so I was like, okay, all right. And then um, the very next morning, a guy walks in with five or $600 in money orders and he goes, I want to cash them. And I go, I'm sorry, we don't, we don't cash those here. We issue them. And, and I go, if you go uh, to a bank or a cash, yeah. check cashing place, they can help you there. And he goes, oh, okay, all right, thank you. And he left. And he walks back in 20 minutes later and he slams them down the counter and he goes, I want these cash. He goes, I know you guys cash them. I've cashed them here before. And I said, no. I said, but we don't. And he goes, I don't want to hear that. You're going to cash it. Oh, God. So I went down to the office and I got my boss and uh, she came out and she said, no, we don't. And he goes, no, yeah, you do. And she goes, no, I'm the CSM. We don't. And so he goes, okay, all right. That's all I wanted to know. And, and he left, and then he sat in his car, and he got on the phone, and he said, I want you to know that uh, prepare for a racial lawsuit. No! And then I said, do you want to speak to the store manager? And he hung up on me, so. Wow. Go figure. Wow. Well, that was definitely uh, a rare moment. Uh, somebody from a competing store in shopping in our store, and it's, it was fun to stand there and, and talk with them and compare notes about guests and, and how, where do they park and why do they park oddly and stuff like that. And you know, it, we we all have stories to share. And sitting down with somebody who works at a grocery store, or any type of retail, I mean, the stories are so deep. And listen to them sometime. We just got word that there's a recall of uh, the store's uh, iced tea, and uh, that means uh, get it off the shelf. And that's where we're headed right now. We're headed back to the uh, the area that with the refrigeration, and we're getting this stuff off the shelf because they don't tell us why it's recalled. Just get the iced tea out of here and don't get it in the hands of our guests. Tell me that recipe again with those with your uh, with the chicken. I uh, I just fry it, and then I put buffalo sauce on it, and then I put garlic butter seasoning on it. So then. And then, I mean, but that, but that's afterwards, though, yeah, right? Afterwards, okay. Yeah, and it makes it so. Like, and then, do you eat it cold? Or do you eat it hot? I eat it hot. You do? Okay, yeah, okay, it's okay. Really good. The wings that Ty was talking about are called crack wings, and it was one of those where, you know, there are so many recipes that are being shared inside our lanes every single day, and and so I want to be in that place where, you know, it's like, don't 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 sit here and and tell me that you that you had these great wings. You have to tell me how you designed those wings, or what are you doing with your steak and stuff like that. I think it's, you know, I mean, everybody's got a story, everybody's got a family tradition. An older gentleman comes up to customer service and he says, "Man, I wasn't feeling good yesterday." Um, He says, "I almost passed out in your store," and uh, you know. I was, I was lightheaded, and and I, I think they messed up with my with my receipt. And he says, "Cause I can't believe that uh, that I spent one hundred and thirteen dollars on. Look at this list. Look at this list. There's hardly anything here." And he says, and "Look, look at what you charged me for those crackers, forty two ninety." And then he started saying things about that the chicken prices were too high, and he wanted a refund on that. It all came up to seventy four.
four ninety five. And and new guy Bill brought up a very interesting point in the way that he said, "You didn't notice this yesterday, and you didn't call the store." And so, uh, but he didn't bring that up to that. I mean, what you do is you super serve the customer. And uh, but but it's still there's that question where we just can't. What's your gut reaction to think about that? Do you think you got uh, um, ten extra uh, boxes of uh, crackers? I don't. I don't think he did. I don't, I, why would anybody buy ten boxes of crackers? No, I, it'd be stale after. Yeah. But I, I'm disappointed that when he paid, he didn't realize. But if he's having a medical condition, then I can sympathize with right, that. Right, right, right. But right. then when it becomes, well, the ham wasn't rang up correctly, or this wasn't rang up correctly, then I start to wonder how much of it, you know, is, is, he, is he even remembering this accurately? Right. Did they tell you why it was recalled? No, I didn't ever see the paper. Shane went and checked his emails and had one. So, yeah. so what we've got what twelve bottles off then? They're like sixteen or eighteen wow. bottles. Wow! Wow! <laughs> like they literally hadn't been coming in at all, and then started coming back in, and then the minute they come back in, oh, it's, that's recall. crazy. That's crazy. A recall. Yeah, you know. And the last time I saw a recall like that is when they did it with Jif. Really? Oh yeah! 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 I yeah. <laughs> You know, doing Western Union is so difficult at times because the way that they keep coming in, I mean, you don't know if they're not sending it to a, a foreign government or, or you know, and especially when they talk about these countries and stuff like that. And I'm not judging anybody. It's just that you question it. You do wonder because, A, he's, he is a, he's a foreign citizen mm -hmm. who's sending money to a completely different country that has nothing to do with him right yeah and, yeah. It's, and, and, and it's coming through Western Union and now that's the second time this week um, that he sent money and he does it two to three times a week to that same organization yeah and, and, and it's not my business but at the same time it definitely raises a lot of questions transition walk day number two running way behind schedule had some really late conversations meetings um uh, the meetings with, because I, I talk with people about their documentaries about aliens, or I'll talk with actors about their movies on pure flicks, and, you know, you get really super busy into these conversations, and then what happens is time gets away. But I still have to take the transition walk. It's one of those where I'll probably walk in late today at CS uh, because of the importance of a transition walk, and I suggest that you do it as well. Try to incorporate it into your life sometime, because you've got to be able to make that transition into who you're going to become while leaving everything else behind. All right, so there, there was a guy this morning that comes in, and he came in yesterday and he tried to buy a cigar, and he was 10 cents short. Uh oh. And I, I, he goes, is there any, anything I can do to get this cigar? And I go, man, I would help you, but I, I don't have any change. I'm sorry. And, and so he looked he looked let down, and he left, and, and I felt kind of bad after he left. So he comes in this morning, and he comes to the desk, and he goes... I need to use your phone to call 911. Really? And I go, are you okay? And he goes, it's for myself. And I go, okay. And he gets on the phone, and, and I immediately tell the store manager, you know, this guy wants to call 911. I'm letting him because I don't know what's going on. And I hear him go, what time is it? And I go, 1129. I won't forget that time. And he wrote it down. And the first thing I thought is, is he getting ready to start? A manifesto is he getting ready you know what I mean oh wow and it's something that I, you know people didn't think about 10 20 30 50 yeah, years ago. yeah yeah and I'm and and I go in the office and I'm thinking to myself I need to go out there because what if he had a backpack oh and the first thing I thought was what if he's he starts doing something a rampage right yeah yeah you know and, and <laughs> who's gonna be there to stop him you know it, it just I it just it shook me for about 15 minutes I'm t I mean, you know, one time I, I didn't pick up a basket and I saw the lady run out. So I found this over there in the aisle. This absolutely has to be a theft that was about to happen. Okay, so what we're doing is we're calling the police at this time because a guy wants us to call the police. He's got a lot of food out there. He very calmly and peacefully um, put the food down on the ground. Uh, and he says he'll give it all back once the police come by to pick him up. So we're on 911 even as we speak. The same gentleman from... This morning, from this morning that you know, said he needed help. Crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's a Friday night. <laughs> if you have. <laughs> right. Did they get the cookies back or what they do? I don't know. I was scared to keep asking. Yeah, yeah. So the police said what? The police said they asked all the standard questions and then uh, I told her that he 
refused to leave until they like, arrived. Right, right. And she started asking, does he have weapons? And I said, I don't know. I didn't see any. And so she asked me a ton of questions, and they're sending somebody. Here. She goes, is he under the influence? And I go, no. I go, but he's not all there. He's coherent, if that makes sense. And she goes, it does. It makes sense. Well, you know, you, you read articles about this. You know, like like you said, you know, he, he definitely wants the police, and he's going to do something to get the police over here. Yeah, he's not going to eat 12 containers of cookies. Right. Those are... Those are soft baked cookies he, he he wants that's that's a felony what he has and the amount of merchandise he has right, right. so he's he, he needs help transition walk day number three it'll be my final day this week in customer service the reason why is because this time tomorrow uh, we're going to be preparing to be on a live stage and uh, I love that live performance uh, we were doing that well before I got into customer service we were I mean I've, I've been on that tour you could say for 29 years or so so um, I just got off the phone uh, with my friend in Ukraine. Uh, we've got a podcast. It's uh, uh, American journalist in Ukraine, Joe Lindsley. Um, it was interesting to talk to him about the events this past week with the bombing on Monday and Tuesday. Russia just uh, basically just beating the crap out of Ukraine, but this nation remains strong. It's just, uh, just to hear it in his voice. I'd like to go back to some of the earlier episodes when the war was first breaking out to find out just how much, you know, that he's matured. And that, you know, I think one of the things that stuck into my head a little bit longer today was, he says, even while he dreams, he hears the bombs. Saturdays are college football days, and so everybody's got their teams on, and uh, those colors are bright, shiny. You talk to them about, uh, you know, their mascots and all that kind of stuff, and you try to break that ice when it comes to creating a conversation. Because once again, it's it's about engagement. It's it's about making sure that they come here to have a full experience. We had a guest that was uh, doing Western Union. Uh, she's from Ecuador, no English whatsoever. I I don't know Spanish, and so. But here here was the thing that made it really interesting. She wrote everything down right in front of me in English. I, I had never experienced that before. It's, it's, there, there, we could not speak with our vocals, but we, we spoke to each other through writing. Blew me away. So, you, you, think, he's, he's, you think he's dead? Or he's sleeping? <laughs> he might be sleeping. But he's uh, definitely out cold. The window's open at all? Yeah. Yeah. He could be sleeping. Be, but I'd, ra- I'd rather find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, next time I'll go shit. Which car is it? Oh, that brown one? Could be. Hi, we're just checking on you, sir. Everything okay? Hey, no. Hey, no. Sir? Sir, we're just checking to find out if you're okay. You're okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, excellent. Thank you, sir. Had to quickly come into the restroom, and the reason why is because uh, a man up at customer service uh, from out of nowhere says, he says, I, I'm very sick. I've got, a, I've got a huge, huge fever. And we're looking right at him, and all at once, everybody in customer service steps back three steps. And so you, I, I got to get this. I, 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 we're in COVID season again. We're in the flu season, and they come that close to us at, at customer service. So you, you got to get cleaned up.